Sonic the Hedgehog, one of the greatest and most attractive characters ever thought up. He can run at sound speed, take out enemies in a flash, and best of all, he's blue-colored and knows how to handle the females. Speaking of females, the Sonic universe might also be classified as hot chick heaven because there's such a mess of very beautiful and tough women that it'll make you love the franchise even more. And since Valentine's Day is around the corner, I've been inspired to make a top 10 list of the most beautiful female Sonic characters. Grab yourself a snack and a glass of orange juice and try not to reach through the screen because here we go! Number 10. Try this question on for size. Who chases and hugs Sonic all the time and wields a powerful hammer? Why, it's Amy Rose, of course! Though more of a cutie than a hottie, you can't deny the fact that she's still attractive. Two things that make her attractive are the fact that she wears a dress, and when have you ever seen three big, very smooth arcs of hair sticking out of a person's forehead? I haven't! So, once again, Amy Rose is lovely. That is, until she goes berserk and starts hitting stuff with her hammer. Who's at number 9? It's this alien plant girl from a distant planet, Cosmo from Sonic X. She arrived on the character's planet to deliver a message saying that the galaxy was under attack by a force called the Metarex. She doesn't do much except tell people to stop fighting and focus on the real matter at hand. The real reason she lands at the number 9 spot is that she becomes Miles Tails Prower's sweetheart, something Tails needed for a long while. Numero 8. Cream the Rabbit's mother, Vanilla. She's attractive and is the size of an average human mother. What really surprises me about her is that the leader of Team Chaotix, Vector the Crocodile, falls in love with her. Kinda silly, don't you think? She's another character that doesn't do much, but in a Season 3 episode of Sonic X, she helps Chris Thorndike get into space to fight the Metarex along with Sonic and friends. What number's next? Seven, of course. Wave the Swallow from Sonic Riders. People always root for the good guys, but sometimes the bad guys steal the show. Her mechanical IQ is equal to Tails. She also happens to be the smartest member of the Babylon Rose. I wonder why she isn't the leader. Like Jet the Hawk and Storm the Albatross, her specialty is riding the airboards called Extreme Gear. With two very long and smooth feathers extending from her head to her calves and droopy eyes, Wave will rock your socks. If only we could see her take wing. Numero 6. To call the Echidna from Sonic Adventure 1. Named after an ancient Mayan city of the same name, To call is the daughter of Chief Pakakamak. She's yet another character that hardly does a thing, except beg her father to stop being so greedy. She also traps herself inside the Master Emerald so that the water god Chaos doesn't rain terror upon the land. When you're the daughter of a person in the highest power, you need to look your best, and To call delivers perfectly. That's why she's number 6. Number one, two, three, four, five! Ah, ah, ah! Mina Mongoose from the Sonic Archie comics. How could you go wrong with a girl who looks like this? She could run nearly as fast as Sonic, and she went from being a freedom fighter to being a pop star singer. Next to Princess Sally, she looks more humanoid than the other characters. Who could top someone who has long, mauve hair? This female, standing at number four, Blaze the Cat. One word, pyrokinesis. How would you like to have that superpower? I mean, Blaze could play around in the Himalayas for hours and she would be perfectly fine. Also, her 45 degree ponytail makes her look like a Native American. I really love the fact that her love interest is the telekinetic hedgehog Silver. The combination of mind moving and fire superpowers make these two a reliable couple. But what really lands Blaze in the number four spot is that her attitude is apparently more different from the other females. Next up is number three. What's better than having a female with cascading quills? How about a female with cascading quills and hair? Julie Sue, the Echidna, another Archie comic exclusive, has that feature. She's smart, knows exactly what to do as a freedom fighter, and even trained Amy once. She's also the girl of Knuckles' dreams. <laughs> Lucky him. Her older self in the series, Mobius, X years later, is just downright hot. Just look at that long ponytail! Now we're talking! Number one, two, button my shoe! Princess Sally Acorn. 
There's a lot to say about this character. She's the heir to the throne, Sonic's first official romance, the only character that used to not wear clothes, brave and athletic, the most humanoid character, and is like a mother to Tails. In the TV show Sonic Sat AM, one freedom fighter, the cowardly Antoine, constantly tries to woo Sally but doesn't succeed because he's a coward. The princess is also a semi-perfect example of an excellent love interest, although there were a couple of times when she really snapped and acted like a lunatic. In the comics, that is. But overall, Sally Acorn really stands out amongst the slew of females not just because she's Sonic's first official love interest, or because she's the only one who didn't wear clothes, but because in the comics she grew very long hair and married Sonic in the future, becoming the Queen. So, you've seen a pyrokinetic cat, a swallow, two gorgeous echidnas, and even a princess. Who could possibly top those kinds of females? Well, get ready folks, this is the number one hottest Sonic the Hedgehog female character. Rouge the Bat. If anybody denies it, how dare you? This woman can fly, she's as strong as Knuckles, and is a femme fatale seducing other characters into getting what she wants. Instead of having one love interest, she has two, Knuckles and Shadow the Hedgehog. Being a treasure thief, she's only interested in one object set, jewels, especially the Chaos Emeralds. There actually have been situations where Rouge's cleavage has been exposed, but it eventually got censored. What a price to pay. I think the best part about this beauty is that she wears three different outfits unlike the other female characters. And who wouldn't want to fly across the landscape, be as strong as Sean Johnson, and flirt with any male anytime, anywhere? These three traits make Rouge the Bat triumph over all the Sonic the Hedgehog females. My hat goes off to you, Sonic Team USA. You ought to be proud. There you have it, folks. Those were the hottest female chicks in the Sonic universe. I hope you enjoyed it, happy Valentine's Day, and I'll see you later. Here we go! me